Hi everyone. Um, just wanted to share this with you. The other day on Gold Spot, I saw um, the Triple Tail Noodlers Ink being demonstrated. And I thought, oh, that is awesome. Absolutely awesome because it has three tines to the nib, which makes it an awesome flex pen. So when I got it, of course now I've got it inked up the way I prefer to have it inked, but it comes with this, and I'm not sure what to call it except a converter. Um, this little piece here is actually attached to the nib, or the back, I'm sorry, the, the back side of the feed. So it would actually be kind of like this inside the barrel. And this is where the ink draws up into the back of the feed. And fits down in this little guy, just like that. And you have to kind of be careful because when you first get it, this plunger is pulled all the way out. And this part is stuck in the back of the feed. So they don't quite touch. So if you're wanting to use this, uh, the easiest way to do it is just unscrew this. Push this up slightly to where that already feeds through the hole. And then you can put it back together. And then you can dip it in your ink and you can pull up on the plunger. It's kind of similar to like how uh, a Kaveco converter works. You don't have to twist it. It just suctions. Um, but what I decided to do, because when I filled this up, I looked at it and I was like, yeah, you know, that's not much ink. Because when you compare it to where it's at in the barrel, it's this much ink. And then you've got this much space left with nothing but the end of the plunger in there. I'm like, really? Really? How long is that going to last? So I took mine apart, cleaned this out, because I'm going to save it, put it back in the box. Took my, took the, the barrel and the feed and nib section apart, put silicone here around this section, Twisted it back to put put my ink in it, and this has probably got um, this definitely has over ten mLs in it. Um, I know I used a five mL um, pipette and probably used it two and a half times. I wasn't really measuring; I was just looking and seeing how far it would fill up, and I just took it to the section here to where when I put this the feedback on it ink wouldn't come out and make a big mess I mean I've got a little bit of little bit of something on my fingertips but it could be worse and so now my noodlers triple tail demonstrator because that's what I like to call them when you can see through them it's pretty much what they're all called I guess if you could completely see through it and it's clear even though it just says clear on the label so what's in here is I've been waiting to get a pen that um, would write really good with the Robert Oster. Um, this is the Sparkling Cranberry. I find that um, when I buy shimmery inks, glittery inks, whatever you want to call them, um, you pretty much am going to have to have... If you want to see that shimmer, if you want to see that color change, you're going to have to have a, a pretty broad nib, stub nib, or even one like this. Or you're just, you're just not going to see what you really want to see. And, um, and that's going to be the color changing in the ink or your shimmer. I think you might can see it best on that right there, these two letters. 
Because otherwise, I feel like the shimmer just sits in the bottom of the pan, even if you do shake it up or just lightly tilt it back and forth, which is what I do. I don't shake my pans. Um, and then, you know, if, if your nib is small, if you got a fine, extra fine, you're really not going to see much. I mean, you'll see the this the standard ink that's in it, but you're not going to really see much of the shimmer. So, let me get down here a little bit further. Well, it seems like the further I zoom in, the darker everything gets. Maybe I can add a little bit of extra lighting here. And of course, I know the guys, the, the guys and gals, and the fountain pen enthusiast Facebook group also like to see not just people pictures of people's pens. They some have been asking to actually see people's handwriting. So even though I've already done this up here, and this was with this part, we'll do it again. A beautiful pen. It's not very expensive. Uh, gold spot, um, I think it was 6160. That's not bad considering it holds a heck of a lot of ink, especially if you have a favorite color that you love to write with all the time and you like the flexibility of the nib. Um, I believe you would genuinely enjoy this pen. Um, if you have a light touch, um, you will get finer lines, like up here at the top. Um, if you like to put a little bit more pressure, it'll be bolder like these. Um, you can always, um, get one, practice with it, or if you know someone who has it, let them, uh, see if they'll let you borrow it. To see if you really like it. Um, I mean, because it's not a very, I won't say it's not expensive. Um, you know, it just depends on everyone's budget, you know, what it is you can afford to buy. But it is a very good pen. Um, I like the fact that um, I can finally see all the shimmer that's in this beautiful ink that I have held on to for through two pen shows now. I'm trying to find a really good pen to use this with. Um, Robert Oster makes some very beautiful inks and I just didn't want to, it to end up being in my box of inks. Um, 
to where it would just end up sitting there or I would sell it or give it away to somebody or not that this is a bad thing use it as far as artwork as far as maybe decorating the outside of pages and then have something on the inside that's real that's written there's some inks that I do that with and um, it just makes the, your pages just look beautiful because you have all this shimmer and then you have your writing and your journaling and you know if you make vision boards with drawings or or stickers or anything like that um but i wanted to share this with you share my writing sample with you and um let you know that um i really do enjoy this pen and like i said it is the noodlers triple tail and If it will zoom, there we go. I'll slightly turn it and you can see in the highlights, you can see three lines there and that's what separates it. to do there we go like I said you can do not much pressure a little bit more and you get all kinds of line variations but you're not going to get much different this way it's gonna all be your downstrokes. It's not gonna be anything that is, it's all gonna be down. It's gonna really let that ink flow. going to really make it pop. I oh, hope you enjoyed this video. I don't make many of them, but when I do find something that really just uh, is the wow and all factor, um, I like to share it. So hopefully um, if you have an interest, you'll get one too. Have a great evening.